like I said, it's a lot of energy that's being dispersed this year. There's a whole lot of stuff that's coming this year, and if we don't know how to digest it, if we don't know how to take it, if we can't take criticism this year, then we're going to have to distance ourselves from those people who we consider to be family. Right. Because, like I said, family don't come in the form of human beings and mankind. Family comes in the form of the information mm -hmm. or the thought patterns and how people connect to those thought patterns and the information that you just play. So if they don't, if they, if they, if they're not feeling you, then that's not your family. If you say that it's wrong to rape a child, and then another person say, well, in the Bible God said this is and that, then that's not family. Right. That's a religious person. You are spiritual, so then you have to find spiritual family. Right. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. that's just what it is. So yeah. yeah. But I am in New York. Um, New York is showing love to my people in Red Hook. Big ups to Brooklyn. My brother Pharaoh, we got you. Um, Black Power, SOS, United States of Africa. Jose Four, Black Science TV 111. I am in Rochester, New York. Much love to New York. I'm actually in Buffalo with my brother, Young Pharaoh, but I'm traveling since I'm here because it's energy that's calling me, so I'm here and I gotta respond to it. I just want to say much love to the queens that's here today doing this segment, this interview. Um, go ahead and ask away. Well, it depends. <clears throat> our, situ our situations makes us conscious. The things that we go through, the people that we deal with, um, and things of that nature, the way you think makes you conscious. You don't even have to read a book to become conscious. Your mind can accidentally pick up on something. Therefore, when your mind pick up on that something, right then and there, you might not know what you're picking up on, but sooner or later, through somebody else, it's going to be initiated. It's going to be sparked by way of a conversation or something like that. So I could be in a room with 100 people that's telling me that Christ don't exist, right? And then I could meet one person 20 years later and tell me the same thing that these 100 people told me. And when they say that Christ don't exist, it sets me more perfect than those 100 people. Because there's a time and place for everything. You get what I'm saying? That's why I tell people consciousness is not for everybody. Right. Only at particular, specific times, only in particular times, only in the times where you need to evolve into that which the universe needs you to be. Because you're not here to grow for yourself. You're here collecting things for something else that exists somewhere else. The most beautiful thing about this is that consciousness is everything. Like I was telling him earlier, I said, even when a man ejaculates to a woman, he's ejaculating consciousness into that woman. Because that sperm is information. We all are information. But we gradually get to more consciousness as we grow. So consciousness is not what we learn, it's how we grow. But when you're growing, um, <clears throat> no matter what level or in what form you're growing, it's consciousness, that's the food that you're getting, that's what's helping you to grow. Light is consciousness. The sun giving plant sunlight to help it grow. That's consciousness, it's a form of consciousness. So when we sitting here and we doing something negative, for an example, it's consciousness, but it's negative consciousness. Everything, everything, I mean, when you look at the conscious community, look at what's going on. They beating each other, they conning each other. You get what I'm saying? Words play on everything. Every time you think a word is doing something to your brain, every word that you think is a doctor. So what type of doctor are you putting in your mind? What type of thoughts are you creating? Because if I'm creating a thought to heal somebody else, then I'm giving them a doctor with a better PhD, a spiritual PhD, than a doctor who's going to school to get a physical PhD. We are spiritual people, we need spiritual doctors. And spiritual doctors are our consciousness. When we talk about consciousness, consciousness is a form of everything, your negative and your positive. If I see a brother, beating up another brother, that's my lower self that I'm seeing. If I see a brother picking up a sister, that's the higher self that I'm seeing. Every time we do something, it affects all of us. This is why I say we are everything around us. Because everything we do affects everything in our subconscious. You know what I mean? Even our thoughts. If, I sit in here, if we sit here all day and we don't say nothing to each other. If we sit in this room and we don't talk, we don't say nothing to each other. And we, and we, we put in our mind, I hate you. And you saying, you hate her. And then I say, I hate you. And then we put that around the room all day. What's going to happen is, all of us are going to get sick. Our body is going to produce mucus. Why? Because when your body 
when you, when you exchange your energy, yeah. unseen energy, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's being downloaded to the people in the room and what you just plan or portraying the energy on, it starts to create stress signals in the people around you. So now by me saying, I hate you, you hate me, you hate her, I hate you, we are creating a friction of negative energy which is causing salts in our body to build up and now we got high blood pressure, we sick. If I say I love you, you love me, you love her, I love you, and we say that for a whole week, right? right. We sitting up in here and we eat fish or we eat right. chips, guess what's gonna happen? Guess which food is gonna be more susceptible to being able to determine our health, more dominant? It's me saying I love you, you love me, you love her. That fish don't matter now because you have to understand that you can get rid of the mercury that's in the fish. You can flush that out, but your thoughts you can't get rid of because it's energy, it don't die. That's what that is. So even a plant, when you, if you take rock and roll and put it in front of a plant, right? For seven days, put it in front of a plant yeah. and give it all the water it needs, all the sun it needs. It's going to die. Why? Right. It's going to start to die because the rock and roll that you're displaying is operating on megahertz and it's below 432 hertz. So that negative energy is actually killing or sucking the soul out of that plant. Energy travels. You get what I'm saying? So, so it's like when <clears throat> it's true to say if you're in a situation, you're in an environment that in which someone else is, you know, giving off bad energy, maybe they have something negative in their going on in their lives, and because now they're involved in your life, it's now it's bringing you bad energy to create these moods. Like, right? Like, um, you were saying, like, a baby, like, when it's in the womb and whatever the mother displays to that child, that child comes out with. That's, that's what you got just. You, you get your lower self going on. When you, when you got rat playing in one room, and then you cooking pork in the next room, and you being abused in the next room, which what's happening is you seeing your lower self being displayed through your household, and then you got children, or you got a pregnant woman in there that's right. picking up on this energy because their mental womb is still curious. A child is curious, meaning that their womb is open. That right there is suppressing yeah. the minds in that household. So when you leave out of your house yeah. and you go into another house, that's what you're going to display. Even if you try to put a mask on it, your energy is still going to jump on that next house. It's just like bed bugs. Mm -hmm. If I come to somebody's house, right, and I, and I start itching, I get bed bugs, right? I go to a hotel and I start itching, I get bed bugs. And then I go home, I took those bed bugs with me. They travel, bed bugs yeah. travel. Yeah. Energy travels. You know, another thing too is like we look at all negative things as being negative. Negative is good. The right. yin and yang exists for a reason. You right. consist of negative and positive. If somebody smack you right now and you utilize your positive side, you're gonna lose. You have to utilize your lower side. You have to smack them back. Or just walk away. No, you can't walk away. Mm -hmm. If you go and smack a cub, it's not gonna walk away. The parents gonna jump on your ass. Even though, even though lions may eat meat, right? They still have sense. Why? Because the mental food that they're eating is nature. They're constantly having a communication with nature. So even though they're eating meat, and we know that meat is not good for you, they have a different physiology and mind state where they can still stay in their right mind and balance it out and that by being out in nature. Where us, if we eat meat, it makes us aggressive. Peace. Everybody have their own universal constellations. We can't always base it on the one outside of us. Yes, it does give us a general aspect of how we shift and evolve, but all the ancestors inside of us. We have a sun inside of us. So if it's nothing new under the sun, then why are we looking outside of ourselves for our answers? When everything inside of us is there. Right. Even you. It's just beautiful part of it. It's just like being able to. That's like, that's like being able to experience the woman's orgasm and you coming at the same time, all at the same time. Just think about, it sounds crazy, but think about it. Imagine if you can experience no, a woman's orgasm and you're, you're coming at the same time. That's something powerful. That's you connecting with her. And